Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own picture frame with a secret hidden gun safe. Our design is kind of unique. We're using a, a double pivoting hinge uh, that we made ourselves just with a little aluminum angle iron and a, uh, a piece of shafting. We start out the project uh, with a standard uh, plain picture frame. You can pick this up at any art supply store. Of course, the size of the frame uh, is going to depend on the size of the item that you want to hide. Uh, the one that I'm building is for my son's airsoft pistol, uh, but the same design can be used to, to hide almost any type of item. We're going to make a swing arm. Um, it's got a couple of components. It's got a, a cross member at the top made out of wood, just a, a one by two. It's got two side pieces made out of aluminum angle iron and it's got a, a shaft on the bottom. This design allows uh, the bracket to be mounted to the wall and the picture to pivot away and then also pivot in the opposite direction. Now we're going to start by making just two identical uh, swing arms. And like I said before, this is just a piece of aluminum angle iron. Um, I picked this up down at Home Depot. I drilled two uh, quarter inch holes and then I'm using a disc grinder just to cut it off. The disc grinder goes through the aluminum very, very quickly. Um, I'm also going to use the disc grinder to break the edge or the corner on that aluminum uh, angle iron. And this will be so that the um, pivot arm can pivot without uh, interfering or binding on the wood. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I used a file just to break the uh, burr off of that so there's no sharp edges. So now we've got the two side swing arms. You can see a piece of shafting there. That's also aluminum shafting. The top piece of wood uh, has, I drilled uh, two holes, one from each side, and we're gonna attach the swing arm to it just with a bolt. Uh, the cutout is really just so that I can get a nut um, on the other side. Um, I'm using wing nuts, but in hindsight, I probably would have been better off using a locking nut. And that's why you have to cut the corner so it doesn't interfere when this thing when this thing pivots. I'm going to assemble the other uh, side of that swing arm assembly. And now you can see how it is designed. That bracket is going to attach to the wall and then the picture frame is going to um, swing away. Now I'm going to have to drill two quarter inch holes, one on either side. Uh, these are pieces of wood the thickness of the item that you want to hide and uh, these holes only go about halfway through and they're going to support that bottom shafting that's going to act as the hinge and basically they just slid in place and then once uh, the left and right side wood is glued to the frame it will be secure uh, now that I have all of the pieces cut uh, and the, the hinge assembly kind of assembled, I'm going to start to glue it all together. Again, the left and the right hand um, mitered pieces of wood. I used 5 eighths uh, just to cover the thickness of my son's airsoft gun. I'm going to glue this onto the picture frame with some wood glue or some Elmer's glue and, and clamps. My original thought was just going to use, uh, was going to be to just use the glue to hold this uh, whole assembly together. I kind of rethought that a little ways through this project and later on you'll see that I do come back and put some screws through uh, the front of the frame securing uh, especially the two side pieces that hold that hinge bracket. Because I didn't use lock screws I mixed up a little bit of epoxy glue and applied it to the threads of each um, wing nut. This way it just doesn't loosen through use. And I'm going to add a small uh, piece of uh, paneling uh, just to attach uh, the gun to. Just I'm going to build a little mounting bracket right on that piece of uh, quarter inch paneling. But depending on what you're going to be hiding, you would make up a bracket that um, that fits the item that you're going to uh, try be trying to hide. Uh, once the glue is dry on the first uh, two side pieces. I'm going to clamp the top and the bottom in place. Again, just a little bit of wood glue or Elmer's glue and a, and a couple clamps on each one 
and then just let it dry completely. Once that's dry and the clamps are removed, uh, the assembly is basically finished. I did go back and add a couple of screws like I mentioned before. I just didn't feel confident that the wood glue alone um, would support, especially the side pieces that support that hinge mechanism. And then I filled in uh, both of those holes covering the screws uh, with a little bit of caulking and then sanded that off before painting. And once painted, you can add whatever image you want to the picture frame. And there you've got a secret hidden compartment, uh, in this case for an airsoft gun, but you could hide almost anything uh, behind this picture frame. A very easy do-it-yourself project. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please subscribe to this YouTube channel.